Hey, mommies, um, this is not a fun one. Look at this. An epidemic is going across the country. It's been happening for years at this point. But let's just look at the numbers that we've got from this year. Over 180, I believe it's 181 total, educators are facing charges for child crimes in our schools so far just this year, 2022. According to the Post Millennial, we've got 153 teachers, 12 teachers' aides, and 12 substitute teachers with an average of several arrests per day in 2022. And this is among, by the way, K to 12. K to 12. What are we doing? Why is it that our schools are filled with files? Educators, teachers' assistants, substitute teachers. Right. This is by, by the way. By the way, I think it was Don John Dillinger when they went back back and asked him, "Why do you rob banks?" And he said, "That's what the money is." Well, why is it that we have so many files taking jobs as educators? It's simple. That's where their targets are. And this is common sense, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new thing to do. I don't care if you think I'm a Republican. I don't care if you think I'm conservative. I don't care if you think I'm one of them. I'm attacking you like an individual. All I'm saying is we have been warning about this and suddenly the amount of people getting arrested and you're still thinking, well, you're promoting violence. I'm like, wait, we're talking about kids, right? All I'm saying we have this left-leaning way of thinking that is entering school and people in power are coming during the, the dialogue about the situation that, hey, this is not happening. But of course it's not happening because the person in power might advocate or protect the people that are there and I'm not allowed to call it out because it's against the group that you want to protect in the ideology political battle, I don't care about you. And I spit by accident, but you also have a responsibility to keep this way of thinking far away from kids. Do we ask a lot? The fact that you think that I'm asking a lot makes me look funny at you too. Even Joe Rogan finds it weird. As an argument, someone who I think is an intelligent person say that there should be a block against using the word groomer. Unbelievable. No. No, there should be no groomers. How right. about that? And this is what they wrote. They said, not all teachers are groomers, but a lot of groomers are teachers. There you go. And that's real. Constantly, teachers are getting arrested. I don't care if you want to ban a specific word. Are you going to ban bigot? If we have a difference of opinion or patriarchal? Misogyny? Are you going to ban those words? No. You want those words to call it out when somebody asks in a specific way. You're going to cancel the word Nazi because you've been calling everybody Nazi that have a different opinion, right? But no, grooming is bad because you're labeling us. Amen. If you don't care how protective I want to be with my child that I build, but you want to educate him in private, read a book that is not allowed to read it publicly because it might hurt your feelings or YouTube might cancel the video. But... You can read the book in private with my kid and I need to shut up. Come on, man. Look at this guy. Eric Rochman at Mount Pleasant, Michigan Public School employee has been arrested for being a hoo hoo. He hoped to meet up with the child for funky funky, but met police instead. Good. Here he is staunchly advocating for a specific group curricula and mocking parents at the school board meeting. I'm a resident, townie, taxpayer, vaccinated and functioning, graduate of this high school, class of 1999, proud member of the LGD, LGBTQIA community, and an employee of Mount Pleasant Public Schools. Thank you. I really cannot speak any more eloquently than the people who have spoken before me tonight. But what I can say is that for the last five years, I have had the profound privilege of working with your students, with your students, with your students. And I can tell you this, they are hungry for knowledge. They are so hungry for knowledge that despite your words, your wishes, your values, they will learn on their own. So many of your children are hurting, questioning, struggling in this world that we have created. They are simultaneously being taught to celebrate and to hate who they are. I can't deny that. 
every day. Ultimately, they will become who they will become with or without us. Give them the chance, the grace, and the support to embrace their own learning. They're going to do it anyway. No matter what you say or do, no matter how many candles you light, no matter how many rallies you hold. With liberty and justice for all. How do you want me to feel comfortable? There's like 181 caught. The year hasn't even passed. It's like, I need to worry about what you're gonna do to my kid? Nah, man, the, the people will go to war. And I think moms need to start opening their eyes because they have your child for so many hours, they can change their way of thinking. And look at them, they're gonna learn on their own. They're hungry. Oh, hungry for what? For your... Yeah, what, what are you on about? Those are the ones they caught that they did research, taxpayers' money, police investigation. Those. You think some don't escape? Don't we have to believe all kids? Like believe all women? Oh, no, because the kids are going to have an opinion and too much power, right? Because they're going to listen to mommy. I don't understand how gullible the left can be defending these people because it's all about the moral point. We can't say something bad because they would snip snip themselves. What about the kids? What do you want? You have the psychiatrist ready just in case? What? Hey man, I don't want to think about a just in case. You can see them like going around, hey, hope more holding, more hoggy stuff. I'm like, yeah, we're just showing them love. Love? With your short pants? Hey man, miss me. We need to defend the most impressionable, the more indefensive part of our society that everybody has experienced. But no, you want to normalize to have access to kids. So everybody should be able to have access. And once the special people found out, of course they thought, hey man, that's the perfect job for me. Because I'm patient with kids. Because I know what I will get at the end of the utopia. I don't feel like the people from a specific group are walking on eggshell. They feel perfectly safe to say specific things. Why do you think you have so much power? Because everybody has told you, you're gonna snip yourself if you don't be the honest person that you wanna be. I don't understand that dynamic. And it's dangerous. These are the people that protect the other people that are around your kid. And I am not allowed to say anything. I cannot use the word groomer on Twitter, on Reddit, because you're playing gangster defense. If I pay offense, I'm banned. Why? But anyway, I can go all day about this situation. It's just that I'm surprised we live in a society that a parent has to be on the defense on how we should talk to defend their kid. A parent should be able to say anything because only a parent would understand how much love, how much investment, how much he cares about their kids and not somebody that won't even make the kid is going to put his feeling projected on my kid and be like, yo, I'm a better parent than you. You're the caregiver. Let me know what you think, because I don't think I'm going crazy for a stupid reason. This is a pandemic of... Groomers.